problems with the challenge rating system in 5th edition Dungeons and & Dragons and its variants are greatly overstated. The system certainly has its flaws, but it's not as bad as people say it is. Yes, it is true that there are some monsters that punch way above or below their weight class, so to speak, but it's also true that given the swinginess of a game where you roll a d20 for your success or failure, that it's very possible to run into a combat that feels very overpowered or very trivial just because of the swing of the dice. You can have a monster that's a lower CR than you, but roll a bunch of crit misses and feel like that monster is an actual challenge. On the other hand, you can also run into a monster that should be a real challenge for your party, but have, say, the rogue and the paladin sneak a couple of critical hits within the first couple rounds and double all those dice from Divine Smite and Sneak Attack and turn that encounter that should have been legitimately hard into a situation where you just roll over the monsters as if they weren't there. And that's not even taking into account the differences between a very unoptimized versus a very optimized party. Throw your Sorcid in and Twilight Cleric and, I don't know, what's another broken build? <laughs> Druid. <laughs> My daughter called out Druid from across the room. Moon Druid is another good one. Compare that party's experience in a given combat encounter to that of a party that emphasizes role-playing and didn't really pick the best combat combinations. In any case, you can take my opinion with a grain of salt because I grew up in an era where challenge ratings didn't exist, and we didn't emphasize balance to the point that we do today. Not that it was never talked about, it just didn't seem to be as big of a deal in the circles that I ran with that talked about D&D or role-playing games in general. But the truth is, we don't play chess. There's a lot of randomness that enters the equation whenever you're running a D&D combat. With all the randomness from dice rolls, coupled with the differences that parties have in, in consistency and builds, figuring out what's actually going to challenge the party of characters in front of you is much more an art than a science. And in my opinion, that's the way it should be.